welcome back to the channel. In this video, I just wanted to show you how you can add Tailwind to your React Native projects. So I've been using Tailwind for quite a while now and on my web-based projects, but I uh, hadn't realized that I could actually use it in uh, React Native as well. So the way we're going to do that is uh, through this little project. This is just the Tailwind regular docs right here. Uh, you can come check them out if you want. Uh, but this little project here um, called Native Wind, and it allows you to kind of use a lot of those same Tailwind kind of classes uh, in your React Native projects. So if you're interested, uh, you have your little Expo Quick Start Guide right here to walk you through the different processes, um, the different steps here, the various process processes. Uh, so to create a project, you're just going to create your basic Expo app. You're going to come down and you are going to install a couple uh, different libraries right here. One is just the native wind, so you're going to add that. And then uh, as a dev dependency here, you're going to add Tailwind right there. So you're going to come in and you're going to uh, MPX uh, Tailwind CSS init, and that's going to initialize a new Tailwind um, uh, config file for you. Uh, it'll create this Tailwind config file. And then inside of that, you're going to add this content, replace uh, this content, and add this to wherever your files are. So if I was to show you here, oh, and then finally, the last step there, you're going to add this Babel plugin right under here. So you're going to, under your presets, add this native wind slash Babel. And then that should basically be about it. Uh, for TypeScript, I had to add a couple other things. Uh, so I'll show you what that looks like. But basically, this is what it's going to look like within your project. So again, you can just add your class name like you would in a normal web uh, React application. And then you just have your various styles here. This is a card component. Uh, so what you'll see on the uh, right here is just what that styling is going to be. Obviously, very much a work in progress. So uh, in terms of what this looks like, uh, when you run that MPX uh, Tailwind init um, CSS thing here, you're going to get this uh, config file. And then within this content uh, array right here, you're going to show uh, where your various files lie. So for instance, your app.js, tsx, whatever you're using as your extension there is going to be at the root uh, app, uh, the root slash app right there. And then I have a source folder with some screens right here. So I have source here and then I have screens. So everything inside here, Tailwind's going to apply for uh, apply for that. And it's the same with uh, components right here. So that is basically the entire setup right there. Um, for TypeScript, I did have to come in and add this uh, native wind types. Otherwise, I was getting a bunch of errors there. So just a heads up if you are using TypeScript. And I think other than that, that is uh, about it for your new project. So the uh, docs right there kind of go over it fairly well, how to get started. So I would rely on those. Um, and again, there's going to be a few differences between kind of web and uh, React Tailwind. But I think it's pretty neat that you can now uh, use uh, Tailwind across like all your various applications. And a lot of those styles will uh, transfer fairly well. So I would uh, check that out. Again, just to give you uh, kind of a look at what this might look like. If we were to change this background to white like that, we'd come in and we see that these uh, get whited out like that. So a pretty cool uh, little project to check out if you want to use Tailwind across your various um, applications. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.